Hello and welcome to the session friends. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In session today we are going to discuss how to enable X11 forwarding for EC2 Linux instances on Amazon. Uh, if you have already heard or you are aware what is X11 forwarding, well and good. But if you have not heard, basically X11 is the X Windows system which allows you to run software on Unix Linux in Windows like way. Means uh, you will get a graphical terminal where you can uh, run your applications. Why we need X11 forwarding? Uh, friends, there are many applications and databases uh, which need uh, X Windows for installation and configuration purpose. Example Oracle database, example Oracle Fusion or eBusiness application or couple of Java applications which need uh, graphical window or you can say X window for installation and configuration purpose. And uh, that's true. Uh, once you've done uh, your graphical installation, you can prepare a response file. You can use that file to automatic answer the or uh, perform the configuration work but initially you need uh, X11 forwarding enabled. Next thing which may be in your mind is there any risk if you enable X11 forwarding? In uh, my understanding there is no risk friends. Only thing you are giving a facility to your application or database teams uh, so that's not a risk and uh, one recommendation always install minimal setup packages don't go with the whole x11 group install I have seen many system admins they install uh, 100 of packages to enable x11 uh, system they are using VNC they are using uh, other uh, screen sharing facilities but that's not make sense because your enterprise system that need to be minimal required packages don't overload your system don't uh, uh, like make your system vulnerable with the lot of extra packages so keep it to minimal that's only recommendation next thing which port I used for x11 forwarding friends uh, that's a very interesting and uh, good thing about x11 forwarding you can use your uh, port 22 which is your SSH connection port for your x11 forwarding it means no additional ports needed so that's a, a beauty of X x11 forwarding and in lab setup today we are going to enable x11 on uh, ec2 linux instance and we are going to install basic or minimal required x windows packages they will be three packages only along with their dependency then we are going to test x11 forwarding with three different terminal emulator terminal emulators are basically softwares which uh, enable you to launch uh, graphical display on your windows machine you can use Mobo Xterm, you can use Attachment Desktop, you can use Xmeng, or you can use any terminal emulator. That's up to you. But I have uh, taken uh, consideration for the three main uh, terminal emulators which uh, most of the companies are using nowadays. So let's begin technical session, friends. Okay, so I am logging on to my EC2 instance which I just created. Okay, so I'm on my instance, I'm becoming root. Okay, I'm root now. So first thing friends, uh, we have to enable X11 forwarding and uh, password authentication uh, for SSH because default EC2 user, if you have seen my previous videos, EC2 user need uh, SSH keys to work. So I will go with other user, I will create other user and set up a password because uh, on your enterprise setup you are not going to use EC2 user for everything you are going to create your own users your system users your application users as per your requirement so I will go with the that way okay so first thing let's take backup of uh, SSSD config file so I'm backing up as original or you can take uh, or give any appropriate name let me win this one oh win not found because that's minimal installation let's vi okay so first thing friends uh, okay if you notice here this particular bit password authentication is set to no it mean uh, only user with SSH keys can log into this system. So first we need to change this. 
I am commenting this line and uncommenting this one which is password authentication yes. So now a user can log in by supplying password on uh, Linux EC2 instance. Next thing friends we have to enable X11 forwarding. Here uh, that should be enabled by default if you see here X11 forwarding yes. So it means uh, forwarding is already enabled. So I am just saving this file WQ pressing enter. I have made changes in SSSD config file so I have to restart my SSH service. So system CTL restart SSHD okay so SSH service is restarted. Next thing friends uh, we have to install uh, basic X11 packages for X windows to work. So I am installing X org dash x11 dash xot which is x authentication package and i'm just installing x term so i can uh, test the things pressing enter here the server is connected to amazon data repo so it will uh, get the packages from there and if you see uh, there will be dependency packages which are minimal requirement so we have to go with those packages These are the dependency packages. If you see, uh, some are libraries, some are font packages. So that's fine. That's not a big thing. Saying yes, instead of installing like 70, 80 packages for VNC or other things, that's uh, uh, like good to go with minimal, which we did now. Okay, friends, so packages are installed. Okay, so SSH. We have restarted after enabling password authentication to yes. X11 forwarding was already yes. So that was good. SSH has been restarted now. The minimum required packages we have installed. So one thing, uh, if you have to test whether X Windows is perfectly working or not, you can use Xterm, which we just installed. But uh, some of the guys are preferring some graphical thing to be on screen like Xcloak or Xize. So let's install that package too. Uh, X eyes. So this is a package, and these are the dependencies. That is part of XOR dash X11 dash apps. That's for testing purpose. And this package uh, also contain X clock. So everything is there. Okay. So we have installed it. So let's begin the testing part now. Okay. Let's create one user. Let's say test user only. Setting a password now. Okay, so my user is there. Okay, let's open one new mobile XTERM window. This is mobile XTERM. So first test is with mobile XTERM. Here it got embedded X server. If you see here. I am just clicking here. It's already running, so I'm saying no. Uh, it is asking me whether you want to stop. I, I am saying no because it is running, so that's fine. Okay. So first thing, to log into EC2 instance as my user, no need to put minus X for X Windows because mob, if X term is running, mobile X term takes care of all the parameters. So SSH Yogesh K, which is my username, to these this EC2 instance, pressing enter here. Okay, so it is asking password because if you remember, I enabled password authentication and this user is not having SSH keys. Typing password. Okay, so login is successful. Okay, now one thing which I have to do, I have to run any X Windows software or any test application. Let's run X clock pressing enter or you can put ampersand always because uh, what will happen if you run it without ampersand you can't do anything on this session whatever is on uh, graphical session there only you can operate so run it in background pressing enter here if you see process started let's wait uh, for x window to appear it may take some time depending upon your connection Ooh, cool uh, if you see on my screen now uh, there is x clock which is x windows clock 
So that's a way like if you see this is a graphical application launched, it means you can uh, run your X Windows application now. Other thing, uh, let me close this one. Let's do with uh, X term. I'm still running in background, pressing enter. Let's wait X terminal to appear. That's X term basically is X terminal. So you can do uh, all your command line stuff in graphical way. Cool. So we got our X terminal. See, uh, that's the same terminal, but uh, only thing uh, that's in graphic mode. So uh, that is also working. Let me exit from here. So it means, friends, Mobo X term. Our testing is done. We are able to use X11 forwarding and X11 applications using X forwarding. Okay. So if you see, that was very easy with Mobo X term. Okay. But uh, most of the companies don't have mobile XTERM or that's not a trusted software for them. I'm not sure why, but uh, let's try same thing with uh, some different software. Let me quit from here. Okay, let me test it with the reflection attachment because most of the companies I have found uh, they are using this software, enterprises. So let me show you demo how you can do same stuff with this software. Once you open this software, uh, okay, one thing I have do already downloaded the software from uh, net and simply installed it. There is no some customized configuration. That's a basic configuration. Okay, now we have to take uh, X window session. So we have to click on VT terminal here and then leave it with the default. Click on create. Uh, that's uh, basically demo software which I downloaded. And here we are going to use secure shell. Because if you have uh, noticed in presentation shell, I said uh, we will be using SSH port. No need to specify any different port uh, for this purpose. And user is my user, Yogishke. Okay, terminal type. I'm selecting X term here because that's uh, what uh, my requirement here. Clicking here. Then configure additional settings. Click on OK. You have to wait, uh, this software is a bit slow, or oh, my laptop is slow basically. It's heavily loaded. Okay, here you have to click on set up connection security. And in, sorry, and in, in, in tunneling, tunnel X11 connection and say, okay. Even this is not required, but that's for, uh, uh, safety reasons okay uh, now it is trying to connect to my server using secure shell and uh, it is asking whether you trust uh, this particular connection yes i trust click on allow and just wait it will uh, get uh, x windows session now it is asking me password so i'm typing my ec2 user password ec2 user mean uh, my yogesh k user password which is on uh, my ec2 instance You know why I'm not using EC2 user? Because that user uh, got uh, access through SSH keys. So I'm just using other user. Assuming uh, that may be in your uh, setup, like your application user is different, your database user is different, your system user is different. So, uh, okay. So friends, uh, we are on our server using attachment, but that is not a X window session. That's normal command line session. To launch X window session, just uh, run any X windows application. Uh, let's run X eyes this time and background pressing enter here. So let's wait uh, for X eyes to appear. Cool. So we got X eyes. See uh, <laughs> these eyes, these are called X eyes. So that's again uh, X eyes is a uh, X application to test your uh, X11 forwarding is working or not. So it's working friends. So it means uh, we have uh, done our test using reflection or attachment reflection so i'm closing this exercise and uh, exiting from uh, reflection closing this one because we don't need uh, it okay so now next test is using xmig and putty so xmig is again a free terminal emulator mobo x term is free but you can get a professional version which is paid Reflection workspace, if you download it, that's on 60 days trial, which I downloaded. You have to pay for it if you want to use it permanently. Xming is free as of now. So to use Xming, uh, that I'm using uh, in connection with Putty, 
to use xming you have to run uh, xming terminal emulator this will run in background once you double click on this one it will run in background and how it looks like on your system tray it will be appearing with symbol x and uh, uh, let's say uh, this is a system tray which i just brought here fr uh, from other window i'm just closing it close mean i'm just closing this pop up about pop up i'm not closing application so xming is running in background now to launch uh, x session basically we have to use putty okay so i'm opening putty window on putty oh, first thing which you have to do you go to connection ssh expand ssh on x11 click on x11 enable x11 forwarding this will be your local host colon zero okay so local host colon zero this part is done it means uh, whenever new this session get launched it will be launched with x11 forwarding enabled now on session type your server ip which is our amazon ec2 server ip click on open yes so user my ec2 linux user which i just created yogeshke and uh, typing his password now okay now you can check uh, display seconds friends uh, i missed to tell you this thing what are your display setting eco dollar display if you see my screen is exported uh, to this particular local host okay now to use uh, x term simply again you can run let's run x term in background let's run x size in background sorry that's x eyes that's my bad x eyes let's run x clock in background i'm just uh, for testing i'm doing this uh, silly stuff uh, only need to run one application okay so i have started three different applications let's wait uh, then to launch cool so all three x11 applications are launched this is x term this is x size this is x clock so that's beauty you can run multiple application let's say your application or database team is installing some x11 uh, based software so once they run it let's say that's oracle database so you will get uh, normal installation windows which normally appear on your windows desktop that that will be similar so you can click on next you can use your keyboard you can use your mouse you can perform uh, all this stuff so friends uh, that was uh, all about this session if you have any query or any suggestion you can leave a comment on my youtube channel and uh, thanks for watching this video if you like this one just uh, hit like button thanks a lot friends bye bye